Hello everyone. Welcome to Myra's short video series. In this video, we will see how to define moving load on a curved geometry. So as we can see here, we are having a steel composite brick with a curved geometry. And many a times we deal with these kind of structure where the definition of moving load is a kind of a concern for us. So for defining moving load in Myra Civil, we first go into the load tab and here we select the moving load. Then we need to select the moving load code. So as per the different standards, you can select any in the list. So once I select task to LRFD, the options available corresponding to it are present here. Then if we talk about the moving load definition, so it is a three step process. First we define the traffic line lane, then vehicle and then moving load case. So here we go under the traffic line lane and select this. I click on add. We give the name lane one. And I can just use pre menu 2 and I will activate only my girders for the ease of selection. So here are our three girders. We can give eccentricity if you provide if you want to provide it in respect of any lane, but suppose I am providing the traffic lane at the central girder. So what I will do here. First, we give the vehicular load distribution. So since this is a grillage model, so we will be using vehicular load distribution distribution as per the cross beam and we need to select the cross beam group. So if I show the cross beam group to you, these are the WB, dummy beams. So this will help us in the load distribution in the transverse direction. So we have selected that. Yeah. Then next, here we give the selection. So we can define the lanes via three approaches two point selection in case we are having straight geometry we can just select the start and the end point and then the lane will be defined at that locations another is the picking where you can just pick the elements like this and then you can define them and next is the number so we will use this picking by number so we just need to select the elements first on which the lane will be de defined So here our moving load lane is on a curved geometry so I am selecting the elements corresponding to it. So once these are selected you can see it from here the element list. I can just copy them and I can paste it over here. And we click on add. I will just simply click ok. Click close. As you can see, the traffic line lane even for curved geometry was easily defined via this approach. Now next I can define the vehicles in the similar manner. So we just need to select the vehicle. I have selected HL93. From the standard codes we have all the vehicle and then we define the moving load case. So I select the lanes and the minimum and maximum number of loaded lanes simultaneously. In this case, I am having only one lane. So maximum number of loaded lanes is one. And we can just perform the analysis. So once the analysis is completed, we can just check the results by going under the results, forces, beam diagrams. I can select my load combination, click on. So if you want to see the results only on steel girder, I will activate them. In this manner, we can check the results. In case we want to see the critical position of vehicle causing the maximum moment. So you can see the maximum moment is occurring at element 308. So I will just go under the moving tracer. Click on apply. So here you can see the critical position of the vehicle that is causing the maximum moment for the element 308. Via this approach of moving tracer. So I hope this video was helpful for you. See you in the next.